It's a story making national headlines. A Mexican drug cartel accused of killing a Union County teacher in a violent shootout. Investigators say Barney Harris was shot and killed after he and another man attempted to steal drugs and money from the cartel operating out of Alamance County. And it turns out crimes like this could hit much closer to home as experts say the Mexican drug cartel's presence continues to grow. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper explains how small cities in North Carolina are attracting major cartels and their illegal activities. When most people think of a Mexican drug cartel, they imagine it's happening thousands of miles away, all near the southern border. But in reality, it's much closer than you may think, especially with major highways like this one being a driving force. The 911 calls of concern and panic. They just opened fire. The neighbors are shooting and um, the bullets are like hitting over here in our trailer. Neighbors here in Alamance County unknowingly found themselves in the middle of a shootout involving a Mexican drug cartel known as Sinaloa. Investigators say they operate out of Tijuana, but have taken the drug business global from Europe, Africa, and all across the United States, including rural North Carolina. Apparently over the years, since 2014 at least, they've had a significant presence in Alamance County. We're told it all comes down to access and logistics. They tend to move their drugs uh, through major interstate corridors like I-95, I-85. I-10 and I-40. And along the way, investigators say stash houses are set up in places to help store the drugs until the next pickup comes along. In the case of Barney Harris, police say he and another man had plans to steal money and drugs from the cartel stash house in Alamance County. But that didn't go as planned, leaving Harris, a beloved coach and Spanish teacher at Union Academy, shot and killed. You can work a regular job as a teacher, but on the side, you can make a lot of money selling drugs. And in this case, they weren't really selling drugs. They were trying to rip off uh, the Mexican cartel members. Cocaine, a $30 billion industry. This ran like a business, but in a black market setting, breeding more crime and violence. The cartels are not, they're notorious for their violence. They are probably the most violent criminal organization on the face of the earth. And as this investigation continues, it's likely that local agencies in Alamance and Union counties might partner with the FBI or DEA to learn much more information about this case. Brianna Harper reporting WCNC, Charlotte.